For this problem, we're going to want to start by solving for the absolute value of x on the left-hand side of the equation. Now that the absolute value is solved for, we're going to go ahead and set x equal to the negative 4 minus 3x, and we're also going to set it equal to the negative of, negative of the quantity negative 4 minus 3x. Now we're going to have to solve both equalities, arbitrarily starting on the left-hand side. We do some algebra and we get x equal to negative 1. Similarly, solving for the right-hand side, we go ahead and get x equal to negative 2. However, for this problem, we're going to want to verify our solutions. There might be an extraneous solution. Verifying the x equal to negative 1 solution first, we're hoping that when we do simplify this out, we're going to get an identity. However, as we work this out, what we're going to find is that the left-hand side is going to equal negative 9, but the right-hand side equals negative 3. That means x equal to negative 1 is not a solution for this problem. Now we're going to move over to the right-hand side and hope that we can verify x equal to negative 2 as a solution. When we plug it in, again, we're hoping that we're going to get an identity for this problem. Simplifying it out, as we can see, it's going to end up being negative 12 on the left-hand side, negative 12 on the right-hand side. That's an identity. Therefore, x equals negative 2 is the only solution to this problem.